Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. I would like to give a shout out to Abril, C.R. Barboni, Danielle Cuffroad, and Debbie Kirby. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. It's 7.30 a.m. I just put the Cat Charmer video on for Stella because I'm watching a video on my iPad and she was like wanting to watch a video herself. So I just gave her this. It's not on her typical tablet. The cats have their own tablet and this is not their tablet. So she's having a different reaction than she normally has. It is 8.55 a.m. and Ditto's having some breakfast and I put some herbs in his meal, um, olive leaf extract, some acidophilus, some nettle, and today I added some glutamine powder. Glutamine powder is really helpful to heal um, like the mucus lining of your digestive system. And obviously your mouth is part of your digestive system. So we'll see how that goes. I did uh, do some research yesterday. It is okay for cats to have all of these. And I looked into quantities. And um, so I'm, I'm giving him probably like a fifth of a capsule. You okay, Ditto? So here's Boo, and he needs to finish his breakfast, but this is what he likes. He likes to finish it here with an audience, so I have to sit here and watch him. And the other cats sit here and wait for him, because if he leaves his plate, they're going to swoop in and try to eat it. So right now Boo is telling me he wants a topping. So I, I take one of the Stella and Chewy freeze-dried bites, which I have in my hand, and I sprinkle it on his food. Eat that, boo. So now he'll eat it. Didn't you guys have enough breakfast? Didn't you have enough breakfast? Hey, Ditto, would you like some more food over here? Do me give you some food? Want the rest of your breakfast? It's right here. Ditto, you want to eat your food? See, I had to move the camera for him to come over and eat it.
It's about 9.45 a.m. and I just wanted to bust out laughing while I just filmed that. Simba is so funny. And Splash is so funny. The two of them are just hilarious together. I was in the other room and I heard like a meow and it was a strange meow. So I said something's going on. And uh, I walked in the room and saw that so I had my camera in my hand and I just started filming. That was a display of dominance on Sim's part. He was saying to Splash, I dominate you. He was not trying to mate with Splash. It is 12.45 p.m. And this is how Simba is sleeping in the penthouse. Or he's relaxing in the penthouse. Half in and half out. Hello, Simba. And here's Stella, she's taking a nap on the bed also. It is 2.30 p.m. Here you go, Ditto. And I'm giving Ditto a churu as a treat. And I really wanna see if I'm gonna notice any blood on the plate. Yesterday I noticed some bloody saliva on the plate. And I just want to see how he's doing today. He's been on herbs for the past 24 hours. And I want to see if it has helped. So I noticed this when I came in the room. And here's some uh, fur. So it looks like he's been grooming himself. I will check the security camera to see if he was indeed grooming himself, but that's how it appears to me. There's also some on the floor here, some on the floor here. I don't know what's going on under here. Everything looks pretty clear. Okay, let me hold that ditto. He lets me hold the plate when he eats. Okay? Here. Here. No. Oh, here. Eat that. Okay, so he finished the churu, but as we just saw, I don't know if you were able to see it on the camera, so when he was eating the churu, um, there was no bloody saliva, but then when he was sneezing, um, there's some blood coming out, so yeah, I'm wondering if it's coming from like a sinus infection. Um, more so than his mouth. It could be that it's coming from his mouth and then as he was sneezing it, um, he was just expelling it from his mouth. It could be that he has a sore in his mouth, like farther back in his mouth. So, um, yesterday he was just eating and, um, I saw the blood. So today it was from coughing or sneezing. It's about 3.45 p.m. right now, and I just dug out my humidifier. I have not seen this thing in years. Um, I had it on a storage shelf downstairs, so I just um, rinsed it off, made sure it's all clean, and I filled it up with some filtered water, and I just turned it on, so I'm waiting for it to heat up and start working. So I've been researching nosebleeds in cats and sneezing blood, and I just wanted to um, see uh, what information was out there. The most common cause is an upper respiratory tract infection, which I've been saying that Ditto had congestion for quite a while now, even when he was outside. Um, so to me, evidence would point to that. 
Also the fact that the vet said that he does have stomatitis, which is inflammation of the mouth and the gums and uh, you know, you could have bleeding gums and sores in your mouth and that kind of stuff, um, which would also cause, you know, spitting out blood when you sneeze, something like that. And because of that, one of the things mentioned is to try to keep the airway passages moist and using a humidifier can help with that. This is the humidifier that I used to use all the time when I used to get sick. I used to get sick like multiple times a year. I used to get bronchitis every winter. And then it was like every single time I traveled, I would either get sick while I was traveling or get sick when I came back. So I would have cold and flu symptoms at least two to four times a year. And between 2015 and 2017, I did a two year detoxification and I've not been sick once since then. So seeing this humidifier is like bringing back all kinds of like bad memories from the past, but I'm pretty thankful that I've gotten past that and I've been able to, uh, you know, detox all that congestion out of my system. So I'm hoping maybe it could also help uh, do that for Ditto. I just turned it on to high and now I do hear a noise. So hopefully it will start dispensing steam. And I have had a temperature and humidity gauge in this room. The temperature in the room right now is 77 degrees and the humidity is 38%. So let's see if we can get the humidity up a little bit. It's 3 46 p.m. I also just moved this carrier down here from where it was on top of the table which is on top of the crate but I think I'm gonna move this to a different part of the room uh, because it's kind of like in the way of everything here like the door that's on it the thing is if I wanted to get ditto back to a vet I don't know how I would get him in the carrier because it's not like I could just pick him up and put him in there maybe I would be able to tempt him into the crate but I don't see how I would be able to uh, get this big crate to a vet's office. I mean, even if I have someone help me uh, lifting up the crate and everything, I mean, this is way too big to walk into a vet's office with. So we're just gonna keep options open right now. Okay, this actually works better. I moved the crate over here to uh, the other side of the room and even with the door open, it's just blocking uh, like this area that leads to the live stream computer and then the um, live stream hard drive and the monitor. So Ditto does not need to go over there. So it's okay if the door blocks access to that. And what I want to do is I want to go find the towel that was in the crate. When they first put Ditto in the crate, they also gave him a towel in that crate. I'm going to get the towel. I'm going to put some pet remedy on it and I'm going to put the towel in the crate. And if Ditto happens to go into the crate, and I know I should not be saying this out loud because cats understand when you talk, but if a certain cat should happen to go into this crate and hang out in there, all I have to do is shut the door and then I could easily take him uh, wherever I would need to take him. So that would be a good option. Okay, the humidifier is on and if I put my, and if I put my hand up here, I can feel steam coming out. So we'll see if this helps at all. How are you doing, Ditto? You feeling okay? I hope you're doing okay, Ditto. Mm -hmm. Doing okay there? So other than sneezing and coughing, Ditto is not exhibiting like any other symptoms. He's eating really well. He's pooping, he's peeing, and um, he's relaxing. Right? You just winked, right? And he seems happy. And it is good for him to get more rest. And he's not acting like he's sick or uncomfortable. Like, yes, he's hiding under this day sofa, but Splash does that all the time also. And Splash is not sick. Um, and, you know, Ditto's only been inside the house for what? Less than two weeks. Not even two weeks. It's about 12 days at this point. So... He's doing really, really well. If he was exhibiting um, like fatigue and uh, lethargy and he wasn't eating, then I would definitely take him right back to the vet. But I don't want to cause him like more stress than he already has. He's been through a lot over the past, you know, two weeks. So. We're going to keep him under observation, and I know if I called the vet right now, that's what she would say to do. She would say to keep him under observation, 
and we're just gonna watch him and we're gonna give him the healthiest food we could give him and we're gonna give him uh, healthy supplements and uh, we're gonna see see how he does the other thing that I wanted to mention is that in my research I did find out that upper respiratory infections in cats can be contagious and I was thinking about putting the gates in the door today um, so the cats could see each other the issue there is is that if Ditto should sneeze and we saw him sneeze on his um, treat plate if he sneezes and like droplets get on the other cats or they breathe in potentially um, infected fluid from him, they could get infected with some kind of issue from him and I wouldn't want that to happen so I'm just going to keep the door shut. Ditto's fine being in this room so even if he has to be in this room another week or two he's going to be fine with it um, and I would rather err on the side of caution um, then be reckless. So yeah, so right now Ditto's under the day sofa. If I leave, he'll most likely come out and lay on top of the day sofa. I'm gonna go grab a vacuum though so I could vacuum up some of this loose fur. I moved the scratching house over here but I don't think Ditto knows what to do with it. I don't know if he's ever used a cardboard scratcher before. Yesterday I said I was going to see if I had a pet remedy diffuser or a fellow way diffuser and I found uh, the one that I had downstairs. So I found the diffuser for both of those, but I do have two of these refills for the Pet Remedy. So um, I just hooked it up and it plugs into the wall. So I wanna see if I could find an outlet where I can plug this in. That won't be too obtrusive. There's not many outlets in this room. It's a small room. Um, so I'm gonna see what I could do with this. And this has a very earthy aroma. It uses valerian essential oil and vetiver essential oil and I've used this on the other cats and uh, it works fairly well and this is what I spray inside the carriers and this is what I sprayed inside the trap um, when I wanted Ditto to go into it so I'm hoping uh, that this could help relax him. So I put this on the other side of the room and it's already up to 41 percent humidity. The temperature has gone up a little bit also. This is where I just plugged in the Pet Remedy diffuser so these little portable power banks work really good where you need like an extra outlet. So I just put it up here uh, near the monitor for uh, the live stream. I don't have a live stream going on right now. Um, I was thinking about doing one today, but there's enough stress on Ditto. I don't really need to put more stress on him with regards to the live stream, and I don't need to put more stress on myself with regards to that. So hopefully in the near future, we'll do some live streams again. Um, but so I have it up here. It's kind of in this corner it's a bit unobtrusive which is good um the only thing i'm realizing now is that it's only a few feet away from an open window so i might want to put it on the other side of the room which i think i'm going to do i'll move this to the other side of the room so i just put it here on top of the table or the desk and it's actually perfect here because uh that diffuser is the absolute perfect height for the outlet and it's resting perfectly on the tabletop along with the unit so so that's really good and I'll leave it here and this could have double effect because this is right near the door like there's the door so if it does put so when it does give off its nice aroma maybe the cats on the other side will smell it also it is 7 41 p.m. and I am here in the rehab room with ditto to uh, give him some fresh water and then I'm gonna do the litter and then I'll give him some dinner it is quite warm in here so let's check the humidity here's Ditto he's hanging out on top of the day sofa the humidity has gone up to 56 degrees and the temperature has gone up to 82 degrees the humidifier is working and I might see about opening a window and here's Ditto I'd like to grab the brush and brush him. It smells really good in this room. I'm really surprised. Usually the pet remedy doesn't smell that good, but right now it smells really good in here. It is 10.30 p.m. There are bird videos on the TV. I don't know if Ditto's been watching them, but they're on. I shut off the humidifier a little while ago and I realized I need to buy a cool mist humidifier. I think this one is a 
warm mist humidifier and uh, it made this room too warm um, so tomorrow I'm gonna see if I could get a cool mist humidifier and I just made like a homemade squeeze up for ditto I took a small can of uh, Tiki Cat sardine and I stuck it in my little mini uh, like magic bullet that I use for the cats and I made like a puree with it and I'm hoping Ditto likes it because sardines are good for him. They're full of omega-3s which are anti-inflammatory. Maybe he smells it. The room smells really nice. It smells like the pet remedy. So You can eat it, Ditto. I'll back up. I'll back up. I just turned off the power to the diffuser um, because I think uh, we could give it a rest right now. I just opened the window to get some fresh air in here and it looks like Ditto does not like sardines. He doesn't want to eat it. I just gave him some chopped up chicken. This is the boiled chicken that I had in the fridge. First I shredded it and then I cut it up into smaller pieces. You might have a hard time eating it because it's not a puree. It's a good sign that he's not hiding under the day sofa. He's eating like right near me. Okay, so I just give the homemade squeeze up to the rest of the cats and Boo is enjoying it. And Stella was eating it. She's enjoying it. And Splash is enjoying it. And Simba says, what is this about? Simba figured it out. It's about 11 p.m. right now. I'm gonna get this room ready for for bed, so I'm gonna shut the light off, put the night light on. Uh, there's mouse videos on the TV, and Ditto's hanging out here under the day sofa. I don't know, maybe it's cooler for him. I don't know. He just decided to go down there by himself. Maybe he'll come back up. Okay, Ditto, have a good night, okay? Ditto ate all of the chicken. And there's no blood on the plate, so that's a good sign. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.